Hi guys, it's Almosty here. So welcome to a, another speed build. And today I am building a little Tudor style cottage for a jeweler. And I should probably mention I am doing a voiceover, even though it's kind of obvious, but um, I haven't done a voiceover recently because I just was struggling to find time to do voiceover. So I just wanted to finish those last few videos without voiceover. So they were just the interiors to the Peranakin uh, townhome apartments that I built a while ago when the for rent expansion pack was released. But since then we've got, I think some kits and um, this stuff pack for a jeweler and it comes with some really nice items. Like I really like all of the pieces. It just felt kind of small and let me know if you guys agree. Maybe you guys have this pack already because it's been out a while. Um, I actually missed the early access for it. I mean, I knew it was happening, but I uh, didn't have the time to record it then. So I'm doing it now and I bought the pack and I'm really happy that I did because I, I don't know, I just, I feel like recently with packs, I've just like, they, they seem not that exciting upon release. And I don't know what it is specifically because it's not just like a single pack, it's multiple ones. And then I get it in the game and I'm like, oh, I actually really like the items and it's nicer than I thought it was. So I don't really know why that is exactly. But anyways, this was one of them. I wasn't that excited about it when I heard about it, when I saw like teasers or any sort of images and stuff. But then once I have it in my game, I don't I don't know. I, it was like the textures on the couches were nicer than I thought they were going to be. And the objects just look better in the game. I really don't know why, but they do. Anyways, I, the, the sum of the story or the moral of the story is I really like this kit. It's just a bit small. I wish it was bigger. It seemed like um, maybe there should have been more items, but maybe the gameplay is more detailed than I know because I haven't done any gameplay because I don't typically do that. I just focus on building. But um, anyways, I haven't done a voiceover in a while. So forgive me if I'm just kind of rambling about nonsense, but um, I really love this house. I think it turned out to be so cute and cozy and I think it pairs well, um, the pack anyways, I think it pairs well with a lot of other packs that we already have. Like I think it works nicely with the stuff from uh, the paranormal stuff pack, but also the growing together expansion pack. I think the style of the build and buy items with that pair nicely with this kit too, or with this stuff pack. <laughs> it kind of feels like a kit though, size wise. I don't know, even maybe smaller than a kit. Let me know if you guys agree. Maybe I'm just being picky, but that's kind of how I felt with the amount of items. But um, yeah, I love this color combination of the like rich wood tones and the grays and the whites and it just feels somewhat kind of magical in a way. I mean, I didn't want this to be like a magical sort of cottage or even a magical sim living here, but I definitely think the sim that lives here is into magical things, like probably magical stories and maybe some fantasies and maybe some superstitions. And they kind of live by those, but there's not actually any magic happening. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's kind of what I think. I feel like they probably draw um, maybe on the ideas of like the crystals having powers or being able to heal in some way. Um, I, I think that is the type of sim that lives here, but I don't know if any of that is actually happening. And I don't know about gameplay wise if any of that works. I mean, I know there's magic in the game, obviously, because we have spellcasters and vampires and mermaids. And so it's, you know, it's not completely realistic, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I decided to build on this lot sideways, which I've done quite a few different times on these lots here in um, Hinford on Bagley that are in like the town center, just because the lighting in this world casts better from the side and the back rather than the front of the buildings, like the typical like front of the lot is quite dark no matter the time of day. So for lighting purposes, they just always look better at different angles and I also built a little shed so this house has two bedrooms well, te technically two rooms that could be bedrooms but I decorated one as like the jeweler's office and then the other one as a bedroom and then the bathroom is quite large too so maybe you could do like a tiny little bathroom or just leave the bathroom downstairs as the only bathroom because there's there's two of them and then you could have like the jeweler space be in the shed 
and you could have you know more bedrooms than I decorated it for if you wanted to have like a family or roommates or something like that so um, it's something to keep in mind if you did want to have a different family living here than just like a single sim or a couple because that's kind of how I imagined the build and decorated it for but um yeah I think there's some possibilities of expanding if you would like to um here you can see I'm changing the terrain paint to be this more shaggy style grass and I'm forgetting which pack that came Came with I think the horse ranch expansion pack I believe so but anyways I just thought it kind of suited the build better and for the landscaping I used a lot of greenery mostly plants that came with cottage living yes that's the name of the expansion pack um, because I'm building in you know the world that came with that expansion pack and all of those plants fit in here nicely and I really just like the textures on like all of the plants that you can find in the um, debug menu or the live edit objects rather from from this expansion pack just because I think like the leaves have better colors and better textures uh these mushrooms by the way I thought it would be cute to put them around the um flower boxes or planter boxes whatever you want to call these but they blocked them from being functional because I did have my sim go and plant a little kind of garden there's some berries and vegetables and herbs um no flowers but um yeah, I had my Sim go and plant a bunch of stuff and she couldn't access them with the mushrooms there. So I thought that was kind of unfortunate. It seems like they would be an object that your Sim should be able to walk over, but that wasn't the case. <laughs> so uh, good to know because sometimes live edit objects, your Sims have no clue that they exist and they're invisible to them. And other times they block them completely. And I guess this is one of them that blocks them completely. So you won't see them in the downloaded version. They might be in the, no, they won't be in the screenshots either. So yes, kind of sad, I thought. But anywho, uh, we're moving on to the interior. I really like the floor plan to this build. I like how this sunroom opens up to both the kitchen and the living area. I thought that um, looked really nice because it brings in a lot of light to kind of a dark house because the windows aren't really that big and they have big panes and they have the decorative pieces on the you know the inside of the window and so it just brings in like a lot of light and I just I love a sunroom I hope to have a home someday that has one but anywho here you can see some of the objects from the expansion pack so this bookcase the couches the table that the TV is on the rug that really cool lamp in the corner and I just love this like tealy blue color it's so pretty I really like it a lot and I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera but the couch has like a really nice sort of rougher texture to it like it looks like it would have like a like kind of a thick roughness to it um like it's a kind of a heavy duty upholstery I think um and so that's something that I didn't really notice when I had seen anything um about this pack so yeah I don't know I just really liked that once I saw it in in my game <laughs> and uh maybe it has something to do with my reshade too I mean that's not going to change like the texture but maybe that's why I like the objects more is because I like the way it looks in my game specifically because I like my reshade but I don't know anyways I'm not sure but um for the interior of this home I wanted it to feel like an old house and I wanted it to feel collected and cozy and not too modern there's some modern pieces and some um maybe newer looking items but most of the things I wanted I wanted it to feel pretty just traditional and just mostly cozy <laughs> and like a sim uh that enjoys magic and maybe folklore and all of that kind of stuff lives here so I tried picking out artwork that I thought suited that and I also made my own gallery wall at the bottom of the staircase and the top of the staircase and I really like the way it turned out sometimes when I try to create gallery walls using in-game like art pieces they don't quite look the way I want it to or something feels off about it but I think this time I pulled it off and I think it's just because we have quite a few different pieces of artwork that kind of lend itself nicely to this style and yeah I think I think it came together pretty well <laughs> I mean I mean it's just a gallery wall so it's not super interesting or you know complicated but I like the way they turned out anyways um but this is going to be the kitchen for the kitchen I used this really beautiful tile I also used this tile in the bathrooms and I just thought it brought so much just 
pattern and personality to the floors and I just, I loved the way it looked. And then for the stove and refrigerator, I used these ones that came with, I believe growing together, I think so. Um, correct me if I'm wrong about that in the comments, but I think that's the pack they came with and I really like them. I remember when they came out, some people thought they looked weird and there wasn't like, uh, I don't know, there wasn't that many people that seemed to like them that much, but I love them. <laughs> um, but here I felt like the wall behind the counters and the stove and refrigerator looked a little bit bare and empty, so I decided to add some tile. This tile I think came with the high school years. Yes, I believe so. And I thought it looked really cool in here. It doesn't match the tile on the floor necessarily or really any other thing in here because it's kind of more of an art deco style, but I thought it still looked really good in here and it brought in some more pattern and personality. And I feel like I'm becoming more and more of a maximalist <laughs> in a way. Um, not as heavy duty as the interiors of the Piranikins. If you guys watch those, I really tried to experiment with color and pattern and go very bold. But I think the more and more I play around with interiors in The Sims, the more I appreciate different patterns and colors and stuff that I hadn't before. Because when I first started really getting into interiors in The Sims 4, I was very much into those like beigey, clean, sort of bohemian-ish looks and I still like them but I don't like um mm, I don't I don't know the exact word for it crave is the wrong word but I don't desire that interior I don't know what I'm looking for but I like more color than I used to so I'm very happy about that because I think it's a lot more fun and I feel that with the interior of my own home and trying to bring in more more fun patterns and colors and stuff and I'm really enjoying it I also think having kids added to that too because I mean their toys are so colorful and their furniture there's so many fun patterns and stuff but um yeah just kind of something I've noticed but anyways over here in the sunroom I added some decorative plants I add a computer desk I should have checked to see if this computer is functional being place where it is. I'm not sure if the Sims can actually access the chair, but I believe they can. But the desk and the chair both came with this um, stuff pack. So I think they're they're really nice. I especially like the chair. I liked the chair so much that I used it here and at the dining table. I just, um, I think, I think I ended up leaving one at the dining table. I also used the chairs that came with the paranormal stuff pack just because I felt like it fit in this style so nicely. Um, but there's also an art easel in there and a chair so your Sims could like sit in there and read, use the computer, and then also do some art. And then over here is going to be the entryway. So the entryway is a pretty good size. So um, yeah, I was able to fit quite a few decorations in here. Um, I put a chair over here. I kind of imagined that the Sims would sit in the chair and put their shoes on, take their shoes off. I don't imagine they sit here any other time than that. <laughs> I don't think you would really sit here and read by the front door, but maybe you would. Um, but I just kind of thought it filled in the space nicely. And I really like the rug that I used in there. There's quite a few rugs that we have from mm, definitely uh, growing together, but there's another pack where we got some really nice rugs recently that I felt like uh, works really nice in this build and I'm not sure exactly which one they came with but hopefully you guys can see like the little icons on uh, the objects that I'm picking if I screw anything up <laughs> because um, that's totally possible but this is the downstairs bathroom so as you can see it's a really large bathroom and it's spacious there's a shower and a tub there's the um, toilet and sink and of course you know all that kind of stuff so if really if you only had like a small family living here you could easily just use the the bathroom upstairs as uh, another bedroom or you could make the bathroom really small and have two bathrooms that way I don't know I think there's a lot of different possibilities with this interior than the way I decorated it. So I think it'd be pretty flexible. But um, yeah, I think this bathroom ended up being really cute. And um, here I decided to change the color of the roof. So I used this decorative wood flooring that I think came with vampires, but um, I thought it looked really pretty as like the roof. I don't know, normally I just kind of, if I change the roof color at all, it's just kind of like a, 
an off-white color just because I feel like the bright white is too white for a roof but having like maybe like a creamy sort of eggshell white is a little bit better and softer but every once in a while I want to change it to something a bit more bold so I really like having that ability um, Anyways, here I'm creating the other gallery wall like I was talking about, just sort of finding different art pieces that I felt like suited this interior. And then over here I put a mirror, and then there's a few other decorations in the hallway. And then this is going to be the master bedroom. So it's the only bedroom I decorated for like I talked about, and I thought this bed worked so nice in here. I thought it was so, so pretty. And these end tables came with the stuff pack as well, but I don't think really anything else in this bedroom did. Yeah, I think everything else is from other packs, but I really think that we have so many items from other packs that just suit this style so well, like I was talking about, that everything feels so cohesive. Oh, actually the wallpaper. The wallpaper is definitely from this stuff pack and it's really pretty. It's the only wallpaper that came in the pack and this is the only pattern, but there's quite a few different swatches um, for colors and I really liked this one. Um, in particular and I felt like it went with the color of the couches downstairs and um, sort of matched the look that I was going for but over here I have a little table and I just put a few decorations I had the hardest time finding this geo decoration I could have swore it was base game but it came with um, get to work so if you are looking for the geodes <laughs> that's the um, pack they came with uh, but over here is the other room that I was talking about that I wanted to be like the jeweler studio so you could easily turn this into a bedroom and then move the jewelry stuff down to the shed but um yeah I don't see the sim that lives here as having having children or a spouse or even a I don't know some sort of a girlfriend or boyfriend I just see um I see them as being kind of a loner and just tinkering away with their their jewels <laughs> so yeah I really like this room though and the jeweler's desk I guess is functional and your sims stand at it because I could not add a chair so um, like I said I haven't done any gameplay so I'm not sure how it works exactly but it should hopefully function I did add one piece of decoration um, to it but it had a slot for it so that shouldn't block your sims in any way from interacting with it hopefully and I thought those trunks looked so good over there so I was really happy about that but this side table and then the cabinet came with the stuff pack too so I don't know maybe there's more stuff that came in this pack than I felt like but I just felt a little bit underwhelmed I mean the stuff's nice but I just felt like maybe it was small but maybe I'm just used to bigger packs now I don't know we just don't get that many stuff packs anymore so maybe I just kind of forgot the size of it that is possible uh, but anyways yeah over here I just added a bunch of decorations um, some that are in the regular build and buy catalog but others are debug objects so if you're not recognizing them but this is going to be the upstairs bathroom so as you can see it's a very large bathroom too uh, here I felt like there needed to be a piece of artwork there but um yeah it's very similar to the downstairs bathroom I literally copy over the same shower and toilet and sink and everything and um, I thought the shower and toilet that came from vampires worked really nicely in this particular build so um, yeah I was very happy to use that in here and then I just add like a few clutter decorations around nothing too crazy but I just wanted to sort of fill in the space and make it feel like a sim actually used <laughs> this um, you know, uses this house and lives here and everything. And I don't know, I think it turned out really nice. And yeah, I don't know. I think that's pretty much it for the entire interior. I just add a rug here and I'm trying to see where those rugs came from, the other rugs that I was using, but can't, I can't quite tell. <laughs> it's a little bit too small on my monitor, but I'm sure you guys can see. And then here I'm just adding a couple of plant decorations. It probably blocks that one sink, but there's two sinks in there, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but anyways, here you can see my terrain paint has been deleted, which is unfortunate. Sometimes that does happen when you exit out of your game. Thankfully, this one was just some grass and it wasn't like heavily detailed or anything, but um, over here in the shed, I do add a woodworking table. So there is something functional in here, but everything else in here is going to be purely decorated or decorative. I just wanted it to be more cluttered and for basically looks, but I feel like a woodworking table is something nice to have in here. You could definitely put like a flower arranging table in here. Um, that would definitely work, but then you may want to swap out some of the plants and the planters for some flowers to actually, um, 
you know, make arrangements with, but you could also have your sim just go around the worlds and collect them. That might be fun too. But um, yeah, I also used that shelf with the pitchfork and the shovel and everything that is definitely meant to be for a horse stall. Uh, but I thought it looked nice in here. You can definitely imagine your Sims using it for gardening and stuff. And this table came with the stuff pack too. So I guess your Sims can actually set up this table and sell um, their items. But I wanted to use it as a decoration in here and just have sort of extra, extra jewelry supplies, uh, gardening supplies, those sorts of things. Just kind of pretty much just clutter. And I wanted to fill up the space with all of those different decorations. And I think it looks so good. I really, I really just think it looks so cute in here. Um, I really like these shelves too. They came with the stuff pack, but I didn't really think they ended up working that well in there. But anyways, here I'm just gonna add an outdoor dining area and then this is it for the build. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I hope you enjoy the screenshot. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.